Wait. Aim at the block. Okay. There we go. Easy. It says use WASD to move, but I can't move. What? <laughs> there we go. Easy. It's so easy. Are you, uh, Laravel, are you in the, are you in the Discord? You should, uh, you should hop in the Discord. I don't know if anyone, like, really, um, has, has coordinated to play any games on there, but that would be a good place to do it if you want to play stuff. What's for dinner tonight? Yeah, it's a HelloFresh. Um, I think it's Kung Pao Chicken. It looks pretty good. I love the aesthetic of this game. This is another one that just like could kind of be relaxing, I think. I got three kettles on that one, whatever the hell that means. Oh. Oh. That's what I'm supposed to do. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Wait, I want to try that again. Oh, better, better. Five seconds seems to be my, uh, my limit on this. All right. Damn, some of those scores are crazy on the leaderboard. How has my day been? It's been good. Uh, I'm, my day kind of just started because uh, I didn't wake up all that long ago before I started streaming. But uh, but it's been good so far. I've had I've had a good week in general. I've uh, just been spending a lot of time with family and uh, doing holiday shit. You know how it is. Okay. What I'm learning here is that I'm bad. Pizza. Fuck. The targeting of the grapple's a little... Your day's about to end, yeah. That's why I tried to get an early stream in, you know? I, I have a, a lot of European or... Or otherwise, um, just not North American viewers uh, on YouTube that always are saying they... Swinging too early on that one. Or saying that they, they want to catch streams sometimes, and um, it's hard for me because I work during the day to... Um, to, to do streams that those people can watch, but um, I'm, I'm always happy when I have the opportunity to... Uh, uh, to allow more people to watch. Okay, fuck. Actually... <laughs> actually hard game. In, 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 in it. Yes! But, uh, I'm glad you could, uh... Glad you could come out and catch the stream. Don't pull me in. Oh, it like it pulls you in. It's different than grapple hoops. Aesthetically, this game uh, this game looks pretty amazing. How do I get it? I'm like trying to figure out how I. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it worked. I thought I I thought I died there. Like the nightly streams because of East Coast. Yeah, I mean, and again, like just being that I live in North America, that's uh, that's the easiest time for me to stream. Oh, okay. This is Verlet Swing is the name of it. It is cool. I um I don't know where I got this game from. It it just like appeared in my library, but uh I think it was probably like a humble bundle or something that I got like 30 other games in. Where actually even is the goal? Clearly that was not it. But yeah, goal in the new year is just like more consistency uh with the times I'm streaming and uh Better variety of, uh, of times to stream. It's tough though because my, my work is always going to be, uh, is always going to make it a challenge. Oh, 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 wait, saved. No, no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No. 
Come on. I love the I love the aesthetic. Oh, it like pulled me in. Uh yeah, I might switch from a follower goal to a subscriber goal. The thing is, um with um or do you just mean on YouTube? I either way, the thing is with subscriber goals on Twitch is that um like I, I don't make like really any money off of off of subs. I make a little bit. Um but not enough that like like I'm not I'm not supporting myself with uh with subscribers or anything. What actually helps is like followers that that watch the stream. Um that's really the the goal is to um is to have followers that like to have meaningful followers like that build up that the follower base um right now at least. Um and then on YouTube, I mean, I hit 500 this year. I didn't really even expect to get that far. But um like just to hit like a thousand next year would be would be awesome. Um, I imagine I could go even farther than that um, if I keep it up with good consistency on the YouTube. But um, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go here. But um, yeah, I I don't know. I haven't quite set specific goals yet. But I do hope to. Um... Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> 420 followers. That's good. That's funny. That's the weed number. I will hit 420 followers by 420, 2022. No. Nope. Oh, the gravity, like, gravity kind of fucked me there. I thought I would get a little more generous of a swing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we're fine, we're fine, saved. That swing at the end there is tough. Okay, not what it, not exactly what I hope to accomplish there. Yes. Only one tea kettle, Sag. Sixty-nine subs, four twenty followers. If I ever hit that, I'll just quit streaming. That will be the peak. Ooh, that was a little too tight of a swing. Mm, yep, there too. This game feels really good. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm aware of Carlson. I actually didn't realize there was a playable beta. Um, I might, I might try that out actually. I have it wishlisted on Steam. Uh, yeah, I love, I love Danny's videos and, uh, his other games. As, as meme as they are. This is the real Spider-Man simulator, true. I would actually like unironically love a Spider-Man game that had like this kind of web physics. Oh, the clutch. This would make an incredible Spider-Man game if you just took this like swinging physics and gave it to Spider-Man. This is really interesting. I need to I need to gain a lot of speed. Swing. Okay. That was a cool one. Nope, that's too that's too wide of a swing. Damn, I feel like you need to take like a whole ass physics course to speed run this game. <laughs> it seems like this game might have kind of an active like speedrunning community. I'm not sure, but some of those, uh, yet again, some of the, um, some of the scores were impressive. Wait. Wait. Nope. Can I get it? <laughs> no, that, no way that's gonna work.
in. Nope. No. No. <laughs> that cursed swing at the end. This is very just like chill and addictive. It kind of reminds me a little bit, like not so much gameplay wise, but just like aesthetically and like vibe wise of the game uh, Super Flight. If you're familiar with that, that's a, that's a pretty cool game. Well, that's one way to complete it. Speedrun community for this is small but active. That That's kind of about what I would expect. Little too, little too much juice. A little bit, a little bit over squoze there. Nope. Let's see. If I can get like a short swing on there, I can kind of... <laughs> nope. This is, uh... This one's a bit puzzling. Can I swing around the side? No, I can't quite get my momentum working for me in that way. Oh wait, there might be might be some merit to the lower lower route here. <laughs> Unless I do that. Hmm. Ooh, okay. I threaded the needle a little bit there. It didn't quite work, but hey. an interesting idea didn't quite pan out wait under Ooh, just a little too short too long what I gotta do nope I don't want to just go right into that oh no I needed to just let go a second half a second earlier Mm. What the hell? Tough level. Uh, it's Verlet Swing. V-E-R-L-E-T Swing. It's literally, it's like a couple dollars on Steam right now. I mean, I mean, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Need to get shit posts ready. I'm scared but also excited. Ooh, speed! Wait, <laughs> too much speed, I don't know where to go. He's zooming! Okay, well, well, whoa, oh, 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 oh. Sounded like a fucking seal. Crazy. Oh, I just barely didn't have the corner there. No. Took that too tight. <laughs> oh my. Not loving the physics that I'm experiencing here. No. Cucked by level design. Did I just like, is there? Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, I gotta get, I gotta get some speed in this direction. Swing under. Oh my. Nope. Can't wait for idols in the UK. Oh, oh yeah. Ultra, the idols in Ultra Kill. I read that as idols in the UK. Idols is a band from the UK. It's just spelled different. And I'm just an idiot. Yeah, this is a cool game. Very pleasantly surprised by this one. Nope. Too much juice. What do we do? We get close to it. Oh my god. No one told me this was an aim trainer. 
Get close. Tight swing. <laughs> I threw. I don't think I was going to make it anyways, but I absolutely threw. Tight swing. Nope, too fast. Losing speed. The only way I found you is by your ultra kill content, so that's cool. Yeah, that's how that's how most people have found me. I mean, I, I do and play a, a variety of stuff. Um, but yeah, the, the ultra kill videos seem to be how, how most people have found me. That was nice. But I'm glad people enjoy the ultra kill stuff. Um, I hope people stick around and watch me do other stuff too. But if not, that's fine. I'm just glad you enjoy ultra kill. Look at this. Look at this aesthetic. Okay. Nope. We hit we hit the ground. Or the water. Whatever the hell that is. Speed. He's zooming. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> wait, wait. I can do better than that. Hang on. Appeared in my recommended from Splitgate and subbed from Ultra Kill. That's really interesting, actually. Because the Splitgate videos mostly don't have a lot of views. Um, although I do enjoy that game a lot. I'd love to play more of it. I'm surprised to hear that those were going out to recommended. It's so close. Do I even need that? I don't even think. If I get enough speed here, I don't even think I need that second one. Oh, I'm not going to make it again. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is interesting. This is going to get janky with physics. I can already tell. Mark is full of shit posts or low view count videos. Well, hey, that's... We take those. Oh, it swung me into it. Actually crazy. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, 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 okay. No! <laughs> yeah, some of the record times are insane. That was just dumb. No, no, I got, I swung too far right. That's not good. Wait, no. Unsalvageable. Just like that. Mm, no. I gotta swing like closer to it and then like leverage that. That's gonna be a hell of a swing. Oh, we got it. Whew. <laughs> I was getting worried there. Through the hoop. <laughs> I actually think. Oh. Oh my god. I go under it. Gaming? <laughs> Not gaming. Kind of seemed like I phased right through it there. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was trying to get too cute there. I don't, it's like, it's hard to go both through it and, and under it. I guess I just go through it. Okay, that, that wasn't too bad, actually. 
Here we go. Big swing. Big swang. That was pretty good, actually. Contagiously stupid. Nice. Mm, nope. Man, when, once you get into, like, the moving targets, it gets... It gets real interesting. Yeah. Okay. So you could swing through there. Okay. Okay. Wait, it's fine. I think I... No. No. Oh. <laughs> what a terrible time. <laughs> there are people who did this in six seconds. I get 20. It takes literally 14 to get the next, next level up. Bubble trouble. This feels similar, but just like substantially more difficult to one that I already did. Oh, that's, that's the thing that kills you. Lesson learned. Or it just bounces you away. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> or it just sometimes kills you. Oh, this is so not where I want to be. I thread the needle. Nope. Is it getting choppy? This level is wild. Let's see if it gets better when I finish this level. Apologies for choppiness. That did... Wasn't quite what I wanted to do. Okay, through. Okay. What was Jesus' favorite sport? CrossFit. Very good. Through. Oh, God damn it. You pretty much have to go over, but it's like impossible to pick up much speed with that. No! Oh, I saw it! <laughs> World record, baby! <laughs> that would have been actually insane if that was if that was how <laughs> the world record was done. Wait. No! Okay. We just move on from that. It's fine. The world records are like four seconds. I bet they are bouncing off the bubbles. Oh, wait. Oh, I can you I can latch on to everything but the Oh, this is interesting. So I gotta kinda Oh, just a little too close. Son of a bitch. Oh, I thought I was just going to scrape the bottom. Or just miss scraping the bottom, I suppose. Let's go. Holy shit. Question is, where am I on the leaderboard? Not top 100. <laughs> now, the other question is, where is the actual end of the level? There it is. Can we? We can. Four seconds. What does a leech and the Eiffel Tower have in common? They're both parasites. Very, very good. Okay, well, it was almost good. 
Hold on, I, I'd be I'd be swinging too much. Be absolutely swanging. We got to do better than that. It just seems like so very doable to get a better score than that. Not like that. Why don't people play poker in the jungle? Because there are too many cheetahs. Did I read that one already? Either way. No! Hit me with whatever jokes you got. I'm a... I'm an equal opportunity joke employer. Amazed that that didn't just murk me. Hey, there we go. I was right. I could do better than that. <laughs> How many levels are there? I'm just... I'm just schmoving through this game. Oh, it's oh, it's like an elevator. No, oh, oh, okay. No, that's that's not the strat. Decidedly is not nor is that. No, no, no. Why do they have fences and graveyards? Because people are dying to get in. Any any graveyard addicts out there? No. No. Wait. <laughs> this is this is hard. That's just, like, I keep doing that, but it's so clearly not what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. <laughs> Under- Oh! Come on, man. No, you can't. I can't get under it doing doing it like that. Let's go like that. Then get. No. Be rolling through my liked videos right now. Paulo is ready to shit post. So there's this hitman. Well, okay, hang on, I'm gonna just die here. So there's this hitman that charges 10k per bullet. A man walks up to him and asks, "So are so you are the hitman, right?" The hitman answers, "Yes." The man says, "So I caught my wife cheating with my best friend." Okay, I believe this joke is not completed yet. I was like, "Wait, <laughs> what?" I don't understand. Wait. Wait a second! Come on! Come on! No! No! <laughs> the man tells them their location and they arrive at the location. Okay. What have I done? I fucked up. In. Yeah! There's... I, I don't think I can do better on that one. Oh my god. All the snowball... Wait. Not what I wanted. No. Wait. The door closes, okay. That's too far. 
The man says, shoot my wife in the head and in my friend's pee pee. What is happening? If that's the punchline, I might need to read that again. I'm not sure I got that. Ooh. Wait, what are my options? Oh, we're cracked. So the hitman starts lining up the shot and the man asks, what's taking so long? The hitman replies, I'm trying to save you 10K. <laughs> All right, that was worth it. It was a good payoff. That's just death. Oh, oh, shit. Bring me with you, gigantic koi. No, no. Okay, not bad. Oh no. This sure is a weird movement game. You're goddamn right it is. I didn't know what else to call- oh. I didn't know what else to call this, uh, this segment, but it's very fitting. The previous game I played was a game all about, uh, a guy with a grappling hook who dunks on people. It was it was a really beautiful game. Oh, oh, that's where the goal is. Well, wait. Beam me up. <laughs> we gotta try that again. What's the least spoken language in the world? Sing language? You're- you're actually kidding me. Robbed. I got robbed. Yeah, the game was called Grapple Hoops. Actually surprisingly good. Oh, sign language. Is that actually the least spoken language in the world? I feel like it can't be. Unless there's... Unless there's like a joke that I'm not getting here. Nope. Least spoken, they don't speak. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm just an idiot. No. That one's tough at the end there. I think maybe I need to. There we go. There we go. Man, some of the records for this game are by, like, fractions of seconds, I'm noticing. Alright, where is the- okay, I see the goal. I see the goal. Oh my god, this is gonna require some... ...precise-ass movement. Okay. I'm not, like, proud of that score, but... <laughs> ...we'll take it. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> oh, I missed the next, uh, I missed the three star by literal fraction. No. Yeah, fraction of a second. I'm just, like, vibing with this game. This shit's fun. <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> no, I got that one. That's a good one. I'm dead. I'm just dead. <laughs> David lost his ID. He's just dav now. I get it. It's a good one.
Wait, can we get a big swing off of this boy? Nope. Big swing right into death. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, I... It's actually so hard to judge with the way these move. Oh! And then that happens all the time. In! You don't bite down, you bite up. I mean, yeah, that's... Is that a joke? That's just kind of true, I guess. Fight together. You bite. This level is crazy. Please. Please! Nope. Hot dog- it, Hot dog isn't a sandwich, it's a taco? That- you're just asking for a- for a fight. Does Twitch TOS forbid me from showing videos of firearms? Um, I think it probably depends on the context. If it's just like a meme, it's probably fine. Also, realistically, uh, it doesn't matter unless someone reports me. I'm not trying to do anything against TOS, but... But if you happen to send something in MediaShare that doesn't happen to be copacetic with TOS, uh, it will probably be fine. Unless someone hears a nerd, loser, narc, and tells on Twitch. Wow, I thought for sure I was dead there. Can't believe I somehow threaded the needle there. Okay, I don't get enough height here. <sighs> Is there like another... Cyberbullying snitches? All I'm saying... Is ACAB applies to Twitch admins too. Nice. Cats are liquids. That that's just a fact. You're just telling facts, brother. The real question here is where am I going? Normally I could just look for the uh Wait. Holy Mother of God. What is this level? This one's insane. Dead. I'm dead. In. No! Cringe. I cringed it. No, I should not have hooked that. I think I had that if I didn't hook that. Oh my god, the movement in this game is fucking satisfying. I will say, they nailed that. Just like the physics and momentum of everything is beautiful. This is, a, like, unironically a great game. It's really fun. It's, like, I could literally just sit here and play this all day. If they just kept feeding me, fe eh, feeding me levels infinitely, I would literally just play this all day, I think. The tunnel.
Oh shit, okay. We need to be a little proactive with what we hook here. Flying, schmoving. I have the schmovement, but I don't have the groovement. Ooh, that's tough. There's nothing for me to hook there that is gonna get the job done how I wanted it to. Yeah, there's just no, when when I get into that second tunnel, there's just nothing on the wall that propels me how I need to be propelled. No, it's too far. I think I need to get that first one on the ceiling. Get a good swang here. Nope. Nope. Okay, let's imagine you had superpowers that can affect your worst enemy's life, but you can't do any harm. What would you do? Oh shit. I mean, you could just go like invisible and just like become like a poltergeist in their house and just like slowly drive them insane. Oh, I, I was, I was schmoving so good. Oh, oh, I unlocked world three. Let's go. What else could you do in that instance? I would make it so that they stub their big toe very hard and just before it heals, he stubs it again on the same toe and it keeps happening forever. Does that count as harm though? Like I guess just like short of killing them. Although to be honest that like, there are people that in this life that I don't like very much, but no one that I would like, like wish all that much harm on. <laughs> Not that I know personally at least, I, I don't know like, Maybe, uh, hypothetically, if I could go back and, like, stop Hitler or something. <laughs> what is going on in this entire level? That was interesting. <laughs> they always lose a sock. Toe is stubbed, sock is gone. Rip. Most of the things that spring to mind for me cause more like psychological harm than anything. That was pretty good. What the fuck did I just witness? Grab the meatball! Yeet! Yeet balls. That's the name of this level. And if it's if it wasn't before, it is now. <laughs> when they go in the night to drink water, they step on a Lego, and when they drink, it is very metallic and warm water. See, I, I gotta I gotta say, I think stepping on a Lego should constitute as harm. That shit sucks. Nope. You just gotta like find out their greatest insecurity and just become everything that they're not, you know? Like, just become everything your greatest enemy wishes they could be. I clutched it! Yes! <laughs> this- wait, this level's cool. I've stepped on so many Legos that I've become immune. Yeah, that, I mean, that- that happens too. Wait. Wait. Oh wait, there was a there was a thing there. I actually could have saved that. Nope. Right into the ice cream. I already completed this, but this level is like actually super fun. The yeet balls. Oh, I thought I would just barely have the arc there. Okay. We got height, we got speed. Uh, 
I couldn't grab. There was nothing to grapple. Once you lose that grapple there, you just go hurtling into the ground. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We have liftoff. No, no way, no way. Grab that second ball. No. Too much of a dead zone. Oh shit. Well, forgot about the balls. Never forget about the balls. Hey, a PV by. Wait, by four seconds? Oh shit. Okay, well. What is it? More, more yeet balls. What is this? It's a meatball fountain. Oh, hang on, hang on. Saved. Hmm, what else should I say now? I don't know. Got any more interesting questions? Interesting philosophical questions. Wait, am I grappled onto the ice cream? Still grappled? Somehow? Wait, this is bad. That, that's bad. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Cheese is a loaf of milk if you think hard about it. You don't have to think that hard about that. Because I think that's just like pretty much how it is. It just is like a really unpleasant way to describe it. Dude, I don't know. Wait, there's there's a great question um, involving lasagna. Um, and the question is if you have um, if you have like two pieces of lasagna and you stack them on top of each other how many lasagnas do you have once you stack them? Do you have one or do you have two? Have you just made one larger lasagna? One? Okay. I think, you know, there's a little bit of nuance here. I think it depends on how... I think it depends on how the lasagna was made. I feel like if you have two noodles back to back with each other, then I feel like that's still two distinct uh, lasagnas. But if it's just like one noodle and then you got like a little like cheese on top or something. As the structure repeats, adding more would just make it bigger by repeating the pattern. That's kind of true. I guess that's fair. I just feel like if you have the like hard ends to it, like you got noodle and then you got noodle smacked together like that. I feel like those are like the bookends of two separate lasagnas. But if you got a, if you got like a milk low, oh, I finished. Holy shit. He's cracked. A budding verlet swing master here, if you will. A real swinger. They, they've called me a swinger. That was a throw. A colossal throw. I thought maybe I could go under that. Pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? I'm, I'm no pineapple on pizza, myself. I don't like the swing. Wait, it's actually goaded? <laughs> the glass half full.
catch a ride. What the? Oh, you gotta go. You gotta go to the stars on this one. Well. Well. And here's what we do. Here's what we do. Oh. <laughs> it actually almost worked. Damn it. Give me the speed. Not bad. Record is three seconds. Insane. If the glass was filled to half, then is it half full? If it was full and you emptied half, then it's half empty. Uh, oh yeah, okay. I see what you're saying. Speaking of half full glasses. Jesus Christ. I think there's a limit of ten videos in the queue at once on, uh... On the media share, so you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to, you know, disperse them a little bit. Let me, let me think about this. If the glass was filled to half, then it is half full. If it was full and you emptied half, then it's half empty. I think that's fair. I think, though, the real question, the question of is the glass half full or half empty is not, like, referring to, like... Uh, uh, I, I, I don't know, I don't know how to describe this. It's not referring to like, like a glass where the water is being either added or drained. Because yeah, if you're filling the glass up, then when it's half full, it's half full. And if you're emptying the glass when it's half empty, it's half empty. But like, imagine you walk into a room and the glass is sitting there. And it's, it is filled halfway. Just perpetually, you don't know. You don't know whether it was it was filled to full and then someone was dumped out, or if someone just poured half of it in there. Then what is it? Is it half full or is it half empty? I feel like it's half full in that case. But that's the real philosophical question there, because I feel like what you're saying makes sense. I think like objectively that that makes fine sense. He's insane. He's insane. Oh, wait, okay, I need to hold on to this. Glizzies? No, that was such a good run. <laughs> I throw it out because it might be poison. You don't have to drink it. You're just observing, you're observing the state. You're observing the, uh, the state of fullness that it currently exists in. Drink it if you want. <laughs> Drink it if you so, please. But I'm merely asking you to observe, is it half full or half empty? Work crazy. I didn't even get the, like, four stars. I felt that it was such a good run before pain. Yeah. Well, oh, these are these are unobtainium. That was fun. I think it has a solution. What has a solution? My my philosophical problem that I've posed here. Wait. Nope. We need a new word. The glass merely exists. But I feel like I had another question along these lines. I'm trying to remember now. Oh yeah, wait this one, I actually got in like a real fight with my friend about this one. Um, the question was, so there was like a Something that describes half by not needing a secondary word to describe the status of something. Sure. Yeah, this game is chill. I'm really enjoying this. Total, like, zero malding. The game is actually difficult, but it's just so, like, vibey that it's, like, impossible to mold while playing this game. <laughs> you could just say the glass is half. I think that might lead to more confusion than it actually solves. No, so the question that I was going to pose is, um, 
And you, you could extrapolate this to like a glass of water, but in the instance of the argument I had with my friend, the discussion was about, um... The discussion was about a water bottle, like a clear water bottle, where you could see the water that was inside. And the question was, if the water bottle is filled with water, is it wet? And his argument was that yes, it, as long as there is water touching the water bottle, it is in fact wet. And I said, no, it's not wet. If, if there was water like on the outside, like droplets or something, then it would be wet. But I'm curious what you all think about that. Because this caused like an actual like yelling fight between me and my friend. <laughs> like that's how, that's how hard we went with this argument. I think he was just, he was taking the piss. I don't know if he actually, like, believes that himself, but... Come on! Oh, it's so hard to clear that. See, this was his argument, too. I feel like, functionally, though... Like, is it crazy to say that you would not ever describe something as wet unless, like, there was a, a reason to describe it as wet? Like, you wouldn't say... Like, a water bottle that's perfectly dry on the outside, but that has water on the inside, you wouldn't say, like, Oh, don't touch that water bottle, it's wet. Right? Like... So I'm, I'm merely talking about, like, uh, like, the function of, like, describing something as wet. Like, why would you... Why would you need to describe a water bottle that just simply has water in it as wet? Like, it just feels like... it feels pedantic, right? What is going on in this level? <laughs> this level is actually insane. Water cannot make you wet. It is just a state of being. I, I don't know about that one, Chief. Functionally, no, it is not wet, but technically it is wet. I mean, that's that's fair, but like... I guess my, my entire argument revolved around like the functionality of describing something as wet. Because I just feel like if it wasn't like wet to the touch, you wouldn't describe it as wet. This is insane. Actually psychotic level design. Wait, <laughs> wait, it's just taking me out of the level. Also your bones are wet. That's true. That is just an objective fact. Okay. Oh, wait. No, it's over. It's over. I feel like my friends had like an actual like aggressive argument about whether or not wax burns as well. I don't actually know what the what the truth is to that one. Like cuz candle wax melts, but wax like can burn, correct? I feel like I feel like wax being able to burn is just like an objective fact, right? Like it can burn. I'm actually losing my mind on this level. If Zootopia has ice cream, then who is getting milked? You are asking questions that will destabilize things. <laughs> that is a road that you may not want to go down, my friend. Where do you swing? Oh, I see it. Wait, I actually see where you swing. That's gonna be fucking hard as shit to hit, though. Missed. Almost forgot about the rocket. It's fine. Doing alright. Thank you for asking. Bro, where did that meatball come from? Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Not what I wanted. Do crabs think that fish can fly? 
Crabs probably don't give a fuck. I'm I'm gonna just guess that crabs don't actually care. What kind of thoughts you think are going on in a crab's mind? No, there's just not. Oh, there it is! Wait, there's another rocket. This changes everything. Do you have to keep the shit post under at least uh, three minutes? I mean, uh, I think the the limit that I set for um, for free submissions was five five minutes. It's really gonna depend on what the video is, though. I mean, if people have like good longer videos to submit, I might I might up the uh, I might up the time limit. But I don't know, like, I'm, I, there are 10 hour videos on YouTube. I don't know if I can completely lift the time limit. Oh. Get me up there. <laughs> that's a cool level. I, I can't lie, that's a cool level. I have a single, single minute 45 video. Oh, like one minute, 45 seconds. I mean, that's, that's fine. Climb Mount Ice Cream Glizzy. Okay. That, after the last level, that was, that one was weird. Oh, Mount Yummy. Very yummy. What type of cheesecake is correct? Un unbaked or baked? Oh. Actually... I mean, they're both correct, right? Like, I'm not sure how you could declare a cheesecake correct. Like, isn't... I feel like the only... The only stipulation is that it's made out of cream cheese, right? I've had cheesecakes that, like, I personally, like, based on taste, would barely qualify as a cheesecake. I threw. I just threw. I put so many shit posts in the Windows notepad, I got an error message. I'm frightened for what happens when I open the floodgates on the media share. Actually, if you know, uh, if you know the command, you could probably, um, you could probably start submitting them now. But it'll cap you at 10. Have you ever tried Shady Night? No, I'll have to look that up, actually. I don't even think I've heard of that. I've heard of Hollow Knight. I've heard of Shovel Knight. <laughs> I've heard of... The, oh, there's a game called Fight Night. I don't know if you guys have seen that. It's like an old school, like, 3D, um, like, turn-based type game. Where you fight with, uh... <laughs> like, it's just a knight that fights with his fist. It looks pretty incredible. I haven't taken the plunge on it yet, but it looks like a really fun game. I'll say the correct one is unbaked, because cream cheese is, like, cold from the fridge. So, logically, you want your cheesecake cold. Yeah, that's, um, I, I get, I get what you're saying there. But I think that, like, heating up cream cheese does not make it not cream cheese. Dead. Like, there are, like, cream cheese cookies or cupcakes that have cream cheese on or in them. I wouldn't say those are like, like obviously they're not a cheesecake, but I wouldn't say they're disqualified from being cream cheese at that point. Okay, that was interesting. We'll take that. I feel like there could be a distinction though, where like, um, there are some cakes that, like, like, have cream cheese in them, but I feel like they're really not cheesecakes, like... Or I would not describe them as such. Yeah, there you go. I think it's also SR, MR, Media Request. All of that should work.
Ooh, that didn't grab onto what I wanted. This level is... This level is crazy. <laughs> the Glizzy Caverns, true. I call this level Glizzy Gridlock. You like that one? I could work for the studio that makes this game, and the only thing valuable that I would bring to the table is, uh, is shitpost level names. The calendar is sick. Its days are numbered. Good one. Good one! Holy shit. Again, not what I wanted to grab. Right into the... Is ocean a soup? Is ocean a soup? I don't know how to answer that one. My gut says no. It has meat and vegetables and salt. You got me there. <laughs> Like, you're not wrong. This is fucking hard. I'm like... I'm turning on the logical brain, though, and I'm like, functionally, why would you describe the ocean as a soup, you know? Like what would be what would be the purpose of that other than just like pissing people off? <laughs> Wait, so you wouldn't need a soup though that like has just meat, vegetables, water, and salt, right? And if you say yes, I feel like I feel like you're capping. What do you mean, logic? You're in a glizzy cavern? You know what? That's fair. I will accept- I will accept those terms. <laughs> in that case, the ocean is in fact a soup. I'm getting real sick of the glizzy cavern. I said I wouldn't mauled at this game, but the- the glizzy cavern is testing my patience. Why? <laughs> the thing swings right in front of me. That's just- that run ain't going anywhere. Oh. <laughs> Man, I'm trying to think of some of the, some other questions like that. Britta doesn't like when I refer to fruit as a living thing. But, like, objectively it is, right? Like, it comes from a plant. I just got the achievement, just one more attempt, mom. I really want to start programming and make a game, but my brain just says no. Yeah, I'm like, I, I lack pretty much all the skill sets required for making a game, but I do think, like, in general it would be really fun. I don't know, I'm like a decent, like, graphic designer and artist. Like, I made all of my own, uh, extreme overlays and, and stuff like that. Oh, come on. But, um, as far as, like, 3D modeling goes, I only really know what I need to know for my job. Thank God. I've dabbled in modding. I made, um, not Skyrim mods, but Oblivion and Morrowind mods I worked on. Actually, there's an Oblivion mod out there uh, that I was, like, part of the team for. Um, I don't know how that mod is doing, if it's even, like, still... If it was actively completed or not, but I was, uh... Officially, it was on a team for a certain... 
Oblivion mod. Way back in the day. Under a different name than Dumpster Man. In fact, I don't even remember what alias I had at the time. So even if you wanted to find it, I'm not sure you would be able to tell it was me. But I did, uh... I did make some contributions to an Oblivion mod. But I'd really like to get into, like, Blender and 3D modeling and stuff. Even just to make, like, some cool, like, 3D art. Because otherwise, all the 3D modeling I have experience with is, uh, is, like, architecture software, like Revit, if you know, if you know that. Or Rhino I used as well in school. SketchUp. But I feel like just being really good at 3D modeling would be would be an excellent skill to have. When I start, I can't stop. But for me, it's starting is the problem. I mean, if you have like the coding ability to do that, then you're already in like a better position than most people because most people like wouldn't know the first thing to, to do programming a game. I would love to do like, um, like art, art direction or like, you know, just kind of like overall like high level design on a, on a video game. Shit. But, um, what is over this way? Oh, just some, some burgers. But yeah, I just don't know. Like I would have to, I would have to teach myself to code, which, uh, which can definitely be done, but. I don't know if I have, like, the time or energy to both learn how to code and, uh, and develop a, a video game, like. <sighs> game design is complicated. That I mean, that's the other thing, too. I love watching, um, like, game design documentaries and, like, um, uh, like, updates and stuff. Like that game Rot Flesh that just came out, um, the developer of that game has a pretty great YouTube channel. Um, and I haven't played that game yet, but, uh, but he kind of has like a series where he documents a lot of his design decisions, and I thought it was pretty cool. After this, I'll, I'll pull that up if you guys haven't seen it. I mean, it's a lot of work. I suppose that's kind of your, uh, your reservation with it. Rot Flesh is a great game. Did you play it? I know you were talking about it. It looks cool. I, I probably will play it at some point. It, it looks like kind of not a lot of game for, for $20, but... But I'm interested in, in it eventually. The brain is the only thing that named itself. Yeah, that's kind of true. That's pretty true. Yeah, we did it. Well, that was the end of World 3. Cool. So let's... Let's go to the main menu. There should be more content eventually. I think... Is it early access? I can't even remember. Uh, Verlet Swing. Cool game. I like...